Welcome to Crumbs 13, the prayer edition. Please join us as we go into prayer and speak a good word and uh, just receive what the Father has for you. Receive what the Holy Spirit has been speaking to you and wants to speak to you and is stirring within you. And uh, and let, let the Lord do his perfect work within you. Amen. All right. Heavenly Father, I praise you and I thank you, Lord. You are such a good, good Father. Oh my goodness, Lord. I thank you for your spirit that dwells among us and dwells within us. Lord, for everyone who is um, receiving the Holy Spirit, Lord, would you just bring affirmation into them about your presence within them? And to those who haven't welcomed you in, Lord, I pray right now in Jesus' name, wherever they are, by the sound of our voice, that they ask you in that they speak it out in jesus name that they say father come into me let your spirit come alive in me father thank you for interceding for me and father thank you that you will be done in me father i just praise you and i thank you lord that you are working out a good work within each person who hears this lord i thank you that you will finish what you've started in us that you will not stop that you pursue us that you love us that you come into us mm -hmm. father i just give you glory honor and praise for what you're doing and lord i just want to humbly say forgive us mm -hmm. forgive us for every time we turn the other way forgive us for putting you on a shelf forgive us for not diving into you forgive us for not pursuing you lord forgive us for not honoring you and holding holding honor that is true to the reverence of who you are, God the Creator. Forgive us, Lord, for all the ways this world has fallen away mm. from you. Forgive us for the grievance sins that are no longer looked at as, as sin, but they are so sin to you, it hasn't changed what you called sin yesterday is what you call sin today. Forgive us, Father, for trying to justify our own sin. Have your way today and redeem the hearts of those who hear in forgiveness and set them free through the redeem redeeming power of your blood and sacrifice. Father, I thank you for the words that Belinda has spoken. I agree and I, I ask that they would just penetrate the hearts of those listening. And Father, I just ask for forgiveness for all the ways that we've traded what was old back into our lives, that we've taken what you've done that is a new thing for us and that we keep going back to what is old. It doesn't belong to us anymore. That we keep trying to clean up by our own power, old identities and old behaviors. And Father, I ask that today would be the day that each person listening right now would give up what is old and accept what is new only through you, through your power, through your blood, and through your grace, that supernatural grace that um, comes alive in us and breaks off all of those old things and makes us new again. Father, we just accept you right now. In Jesus' name, we accept you, Father, fully into our heart and everything that comes with it, all the new, knowing that the new is such a gift and that the old is bondage. And so right now, in Jesus' name, we just break off the old, the old behaviors, the old identities, the things that are um, sticking with us because they feel comfortable. We break them off right now in Jesus' Jesus name. name. Father, I ask that you would cloak us in what is new in all things, Lord, that you have for us, Father. We thank you for your gentleness and your patience with us. You're so gentle and so good. May that fruit that comes from you exude out of us today and every day moving forward. I thank you for the lives of those listening. May they be changed today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let the Father um, transform you into his image. Um, 
which is from the inside out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're so glad that you're here praying with us today. If this message has touched you, as always, we just say share it with other people. This is a prayer that we need. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ needs it. And the people that don't know him, they need it. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, our hope is that many would turn their face to him. Mm -hmm. And so however that needs to happen, however you're a part of that, you know, however the Lord leads you, um, let us just affirm you that um, God is using you in mighty ways, whether you realize it or not. Yes. So with that... Um, we can't wait to meet you at his table. God bless you.